Today we're going to review parentheses, brackets, and braces, and then do a little bit of practice. Okay, today we're going to review parentheses, brackets, and braces. This is the next step in order of operation. So we've talked about the correct order to do things, we've talked about parentheses, now we're going to talk about brackets and braces. You might remember this sheet because it was in your Math Concepts journal. It shows you what a parenthesis looks like, what brackets look like, and what braces look like. When an expression has all three of these, you start with your parentheses. So parentheses right here would be what you start with. That's first. So you would solve inside the parentheses first. You would then work your way out. So the next thing you would do is the brackets, and then finally your braces, which look like this. And I told you, I don't care how you draw them, they can be squiggly lines. What you have to think about is parentheses, brackets, and braces are really just three different ways to, to draw parentheses. It's just we need to draw them in different ways when we have a complex problem. So let's look at this problem now. We have parentheses, brackets, and braces. We have only two terms. Here's my stop sign right here. Actually, I'd like to do this in red. And here are my two terms. Here's one term, and here's the other term. Okay, in the first term, I do have parentheses, brackets, and braces. So what I'm going to do first is solve inside the parentheses. Oops, let me bring up the marker here. So I'm going to solve the three plus two first. So if you see, I did that here, and that's where my answer is there, the five. So I brought everything else down just as it is, the, the brackets, the braces, and then the five, which I had solved. I don't need to bring the parentheses down anymore because I solved inside them. In the second term, all I have is brackets, parentheses and brackets. So I'm going to solve inside the parentheses first, the 16 minus 12. And I did that and I got the answer four. So I'm highlighting here the four. And then I brought down my brackets. Okay, now let's go back to my red pen. I'm going to draw my stop sign in again and circle my terms again. Now I'm going to look in my first term at my brackets. I have four times five in brackets. So let me go to my highlighter. I do my four times five here and I get 20. So that's what comes down here. And then I bring my minus five and my braces down here. In the second term, all I have left to do is three times four, which is 12. So I have my 12 down here. Going back to my red pen, I put my stop sign in, circle my terms again, and now I do my 20 minus five, which is 15, and then I simply just brought my 12 down, and now I can solve 15 plus 12 because I'm down to single numbers. 15 plus 12 is 27, and I have my ice cream cone. All right, let's try one more before you do some on your own. If you look at this expression that I have put up here, I've got my, I've got one term that has parentheses, brackets, and braces, and then I have another term that's just simply a division problem. So I'm going to put my stop sign in. Remember, you don't put stop signs anywhere inside parentheses, brackets, or braces. So this whole thing is one term. And then we have a term over here. I bring my addition sign down. I'm just going to do 12 divided by 6 is 2. Get that out of the way. Now I'm coming over to this large term. Parentheses, brackets, braces. Remember, parentheses first, then brackets, then braces. So I'm going to do the 6 minus 2 first because that's in parentheses. So that is four. I don't, I do need to bring, I'm sorry, my parentheses down because of the two right next to it. 
because that means I'm going to multiply. So now I have my bracket. I bring everything else down just as it is. And then I have to bring my 16 minus everything has to come down. Okay. Now, stop sign. Circle my terms again. Addition sign. Just bring my 2 down. Now I have in my brackets. 3 plus 2 times 4. You know from order of operation that you do the multiplication first. So 2 times 4 is 8. And then I bring my 3 and my addition sign down like this. My brackets are down, bringing my braces down. And there it is. Okay, so if you see, what I did was I did the multiplication here because that comes before the addition. So that's my 8 right here. And then everything else came down just as it is. Circling my terms, bringing my addition sign down, bring my 2 down. Now I can finish up my brackets. 3 plus 8 is 11. Now I bring my 16 minus and my braces down. Stop sign, circle my terms. 16 minus 11 is 5 plus 2, and my answer is 7. Now you try some on your own.